Now let's take a look at mail and the new features such as swipe gestures and composing in full screen view. So let's first get to full screen view. I'm going to do that by going up to the view menu and selecting enter full screen. What that does is it takes my window and it um, encompasses the full screen. The menu bar is now hidden. You can still access it by going up to the top of the screen with your cursor. But once you leave that area, the menu is hidden again. That's helpful to some and some um, find that not helpful. So your choice. All right, so let's say for example that I want to compose a new email. I'm going to go over to the upper left hand corner of my screen and click on the compose new message icon. It brings up a new window in the center of my screen and let's say I want to start entering text. And while I'm entering text I decide that I need to either copy text from another message or even copy an image from another message. To get to the messages behind this window I'm going to click just outside of this window on the screen. The email collapses down to the bottom of the screen. So now if I have text that I want to copy, and let's just copy this text just for the sake of having something to copy. And then if I go back down to the bottom of my screen and click on my email, it pops back up and I can paste text into it. And I can do the same if I have an image. So let me click back off to the side of the screen and I want to drag this image into the new email. So I'm going to hold my mouse button down on it and drag up so you see it following me in my cursor. If I go down to the bottom of my screen and then let go, that text, that image is copied into my email. And while I'm in this full screen mode, I can also have other email um, messages uh, composed here. So if I press command N, which is to create a new email window, a new email window appears as a tab. And let me press a couple more so you can see this. One, two. So now I actually have four email windows grouped in tabs waiting for me to compose them. You can only do this when you're in full screen mode. Once you're out of full screen mode, they pop up as floating windows as they normally do. Okay, I'm going to collapse these emails by clicking on the outside of the window here. And they collapse down to the bottom of the screen again. A couple of new features in Mail with El Capitan is that you can now use gestures swipes like you can with iOS devices. So on my trackpad I can swipe to the right and to the left to either mark my email as unread or trash it. So very similar to iOS. And you'll also notice on the emails, on some emails that you receive, you may see a banner across the top here. And that banner may say something like updated contact information. It will then also show a update link over on the right hand side. And if you click on it, it will bring up that contact. And you have the option to ignore the update or the, go ahead and update the contact. If a mail sees a date on your email, if you click on it, you may find a little arrow down to the right hand side of it. It will uh, pop up a window for you to create a new calendar event. So Mel has started to look for things, updated contact information, dates and telephone numbers to help with your workflow. I'm going to click on the side here to dismiss that little window. Whenever you want to get out of full screen mode, you take your cursor back to the top of the screen. You go back to the view menu and you select exit full screen and that gives you your floating windows like you normally have. In the next video I'm going to show you how to choose full screen view for two applications. This is Sheeta Hunter. Thanks for watching.